Well, well, well. So old boy is at it again, huh? He's trying to play another artist. <laughs> Woo! I, I mean, I'm saying, how many more artists need to be played by this dude before y'all wake up and realize uh, he ain't the one, chief? <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, let's get into it, man. But first, intro. What's good, guys? It's your boy. It's your homie. It's your... <laughs> Man, fuck that. Uh, hey, what's good, y'all? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are about to get into this um, No Life Shack This that was done by my man, Grizzly Hendrix. I know some of y'all are going to call me out in the comments and be like, hey, I thought you weren't going to react to any more diss tracks or anything like that. Well... I kind of need to break my rule for this one exception because uh, uh, as someone who is very familiar with, with, with No Life Shack, I mean, I'm not going to lie. No Life Shack is one of the reasons why I have decided to become a reactor and um, start up my own reaction channel. You know what I'm saying? He's partly the reason. Whether or not that is a, a good thing, I'm going to have to get back to you on that uh, because that, that's debatable. Um, but anyway... I, I, I got it. First off, I got to give Grizzy props for this thumbnail. I mean, this thumbnail pretty much sums up Shaq in a nutshell. Um, him being a, a a shady nut writer is pretty much partly how he got to where he is now. I mean, hey, look. God bless my man, No Life Shaq. He figured out a way to work the system into his favor and got to where he is. So, yo, man, hey, all, all, all the more power you know, to him for, for making it, you know what I'm saying, um, but some seem to believe that Shaq has changed somewhere along the way, and I tend to agree, because uh, my man, even though he was all up on that, on that Eminem reaction grind, he was reacting to a lot of uh, new up-and-coming artists, you know what I mean, he helped put a lot of people on, uh, you know what I mean? And he helped a lot of the new up and coming artists um, network with, with each other because, you know, he had such a huge following. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And then somewhere along the way, I guess he forgot about those who supported him, uh, those who need the exposure more, you know what I mean, that were rocking with him. He forgot about those people and decided to go and jump over to the mainstream side of things. So he's only reacting to mainstream artists. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, fucked up man but i mean you know you, you should never forget those who had your back since day one you know what i'm saying never forget those who helped got you to where you are you know what i mean always pay it forward by giving back to those who can really benefit from you you know exposing them to a newer broader audience you know what i mean um but, you know, I'm not going to tell the man how, how, to, how to run his channel. I'm not going to tell him how to live his life. He's a grown-ass man at the end of the day. And whatever decision he, he makes, that's that's on him. I'm just saying, look, if, if it were me, I'm never going to forget those who help get me to where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to make sure. I'm, I'm learning from Shaq. I'm going to learn from Shaq. I'm not going to, you know, switch over to the mainstream side of things. I'm going to react to new up-and-coming artists. You know what I'm saying? If I can help blow them up. Hey, I'll be doing my job. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. That's how it should be. You pay it forward by giving back. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into Grizzy's No Life Shack Dis. Once again, it's by Grizzy Hendrix. Eminem stands must listen. Facts. <laughs> Facts. But anyway, like the hear here. Go. This nigga here, too, he too real for the industry, man. Well, I, I I suppose one of y'all got got to be real, and if it ain't gonna be you, well then it's gotta be our boy here. So anyway, he too real for the industry. Hey yo, I like to welcome y'all to the. No, he's using the 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 uh, Haley beat from the Eminem show. Bruh. But I get the thumbnail now. That the the uh, thumbnail it makes even more sense now. Let's go. Grizzy Hendrix show. Gather around, y'all. We got some exposing to do. And it's starring No Life Shack. 
Shaq, I wouldn't want to be you right now. I'm just saying, bruh. Yo, Shaq, I think it's finally time we had this conversation. A nerve of this cloud chasing, trying to say I'm cloud chasing. When your favorite phrase like that's tough, copy and pasted, amazing. Face it, he's not original, he's faking. But half of us never say shit in hopes of getting a placement on it. Facts, man, facts. Shaq is fake. I don't care what anyone says, man. As a matter of fact, I just learned not too long ago that apparently the way he, he acts in his reactions... Like, the way he speaks, all his little catchphrases, all his little spastic moves that he likes to do, you know what I mean? I hear that's not even original. I heard he stole that from another reactor, bruh. Damn. Damn. And yeah, the whole, that's tough, that's tough. Yeah, dude, like, that's an original catchphrase. That's a daily phrase that a lot of us use. I know I've used it in videos, you know what I mean? Oh, you're, you're a no, no, no life shack freaking biter, man. What, for saying that's tough? Dude, that's a normal everyday saying. Anybody can say that's tough. Bruh, just because you put it on a t-shirt and whatever and, you know, sell it as merch, that still don't don't make a difference. You know what I mean? Is what it is. Bruh. Anyway. Uh, I need to wind this back because my man Grizz is saying a lot. And listen close. Yeah. Hey yo, Shaq, I think it's finally time we had this conversation. A nerve of this cloud chasing, trying to say I'm cloud chasing. When your favorite phrase like that's tough, copy and pasted, amazing. Face it, he's not original, he's faking. But half of us never say shit in hopes of getting a placement on it. Facts, facts. Shaq pulls off a lot of fake shit. And it's really sad that a lot of people are too damn scared. You know what I mean? Don't have the balls to freaking call this dude out on it. I mean... A lot of people caught it. You know what I'm saying? Grizzy is not the first one that Shaq is trying to play right now. Look at Mercules. Who, who remembers that whole Mercules old or, ordeal where Shaq charged Mercules $400 for a promo that never got made. I don't care what Shaq says. That shit never got made because if it did, it would have been posted. Shaq tried to, tried to tell some bullshit like, oh, I never actually recorded Mercules' promo or no. That's not true. He said, I, I did record Mercules' uh, uh, reaction, his promo and everything, but then I accidentally uh, uh, deleted it, and that's why I never got posted. Okay, so why didn't you just redo it and then post it? You know, the man paid you $400, which was your standard reaction fee at the time, but then now you upped it. Now it's 600 because that's how much Grizzy paid you for his, and uh, what happened to Grizzy's promo? You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. I'm saying, see, I, I'm not surprised by this at all, man. He, he, This is not the first time he's done some shit like this. Let's go. This channel I was dating. Y'all are saying that I'm just hating. But it's blatant. Now he's taking and quoting someone verbatim. I'm not citing his inspiration. But this picture that he's painting to the plaintiff. I'm complaining. It's a bullshit explanation. Now he's Jack another greatest. But Shaq is everyone's favorite. Exactly how he's jacking from a lot of heads. He didn't just jack from Grizzly. He didn't just jack from Mercules. There was another rapper that Shaq um, was going to do something with. But then I guess, you know, he forgot about it. That, flam that plan fell through. I believe it was Cloud9. Although, to be fair, I haven't really heard much from Cloud9. I don't know if he's still making music. I haven't really he heard anything much from Dude um, or anything about him. In like, at least not recently. I, like, the last time I heard about that dude was as a matter of fact he was he was going through his shit with with, with uh Shaq. That was the last time I heard anything about Cloud9. And after that, nothing. But um <clears throat> and then I remember um right right around the time Shaq was having issues with Mercules, he was having issues with A Cal as well and was basically trying to accuse uh A Cal of being being racist and whatnot. He like he didn't want to say it. He was trying to be low key about it, but he basically accused A Cal of being racist. And that's why he don't even be reacting it to Adam Calhoun anymore. You know what I mean? Bruh. I'm saying, man, this this dude, this dude, he, he he's not, I, I, he's not what, what he used to be. But then even then, I don't even think he was what he's supposed to be even back then. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. Because look, like, Grizzly is not the first. Look at A-Cal. Look at Mercules. I remember uh, when Shaq reacted to that whole up church versus screw face um uh, battle and he was basically trying to favor screw face over church creek squad had to call him out him being Shaq, you know what i'm saying be like nah bro like you know you know church 
church got him right there because look not to go into a screw face tangent but i'm sorry i don't care what anyone says screw sucks as a rapper especially as a diss track artist check this out if you heard one screw face diss track towards a white rapper you pretty much heard them all because every go-to uh, piece of ammunition that Screwface will, will try to implement, that will try to use against a white rapper, is that the white rapper is is racist, which is a racist move to make. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's get back into this. Right there, that's tough. So fuck it, he'll get away with this shit because the bitch he's making, creating this fake facade. It's this guy who never lies or plagiarized, but there's two sides to every story. Like Illuminati, that sound familiar? You oh damn right. This God. nigga tried. Oh my, it was one of those dark nights when no life Jack had a light bulb strike off in his mind. Like, like damn, what can I do to get views on YouTube? That's tough, that sounds cool, and nobody knows, dude. And well, 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 I think I still that too. And woo, I fucking blew. Woo, see, look at man, Grizzy knows, man. He basically summed it up right there. Like, yo, how, how do how do I get views? What can I do to to, uh, to get views and really blow up? Oh, let me let me take this from from this content creator. Let me take that from that content creator. You know what I'm saying? And like like I said, man, hey, whether you like Shaq or not, doesn't matter. The dude knows how to work the system. Like I said, he got it to work in his favor, so and reached the level of success that he was able to obtain. But now. But now, all the uh, the uh, fuckery, all the buffoonery that he was committing, you know what I mean, to some of these guys who were, you know, just, just trying try, trying to get get a, get a promo done, it's not coming back to bite him in the ass. And crazy, he don't really. Just not when exposing you, but I'm used to these fake dudes on the tube moving like screw us all politics. And honestly, at this point, it don't bother me. Aside from all this water beef, because niggas always lie to reach a target. Yeah, I market beef. At least I'm transparent, not pandering, bragging. Now I stole some. Now, to Grizzy's credit, I mean, Grizzy is an incredible rapper. He he is an amazing lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, he's been doing it for so long, and he's put out so many tracks, you know what I'm saying? But my man can still, still lay down them bars. My man can still, you know, tell his story, you know what I mean? And uh, say whatever he needs to say. I mean, my, my man, my man is still with it. I don't care how long he's been in it. I don't care how many songs he's put out, man. My man, my man is still there, man. Let's go. Who's making dope? Or for using him to grow? You can hear it in his shows. First he likes mumble rap, and he dislikes it. So the Eminem stands a run back like Shaq. Give us more, like yeah. I hate mumble rap. Them niggas can't flow. They Facts. I remember when Shaq started reacting to that that mumble mush mouth stuff. He used to have the mumble Mondays. Remember that? And he would clown on these mumble mouthers. Now he be into it and shit. Like, like, yo, it, it, it's the thing. You know what I mean? It's it's the trend, whatever. This is gonna take me to that next level, <laughs> right? Anyway. Like the rap god, and by the way, y'all got donations. I need y'all so I can buy a new home and a brand new Ferrari. Give me more, give me more. This nigga so predictable. Just ask Michelle. Show this nigga talks like he's guzzling, coming he deep throws. Grizzly, just let it go. We love Shaq. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting these no light shaft, S A F T S H A F T. Excuse me, these no light shaft riders are coming out. I'm not surprised if they're coming out to Grizzly and telling him, "Oh, you, 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 you just a hater," because all them no light shack bots, they all be alike. You know what I mean? Um, I remember when I called out Shaq for um, doing Mercury's dirty. Sure as shit, man. Just like Locust, man. They all freaking came swarming in on, on that video I did um, many moons ago. Um, when I addressed that whole Mercury situation with No Life Shack and everything. And they're like, oh, yeah, you, you just a hater. You 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 just jealous because you're never going to be on dude's level. You know what I mean? Blah, 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 this, that, and yada, yada. All the stupid, broken record, cliche, hater comments that you can possibly get in your videos that's been done to death. Yeah. Um, I, I got those too, man. And I, I, I just laugh now because see these no life shack these no life shaft rider bots, they be just like their hero, not original. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway. Feels like y'all just don't know me. Everything's controversial. 
And I don't blame Grizzly for feeling that way, man. The world be a phony place sometimes, man. There be a bunch of phony people telling you one thing and then they do another. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, I don't blame him for feeling that way. Let's go. Hey, yo, Shaq, I, I, I tried singing for you, man. I, I really tried to hit them notes. You see, I was like, ah. <laughs> Understand the rapping mechanics, you only understand being a stand, and I can't stand it. You couldn't manage to catch these bars if it backhanded you in the face and set them on punchline. God damn it, you facts, facts. I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone says, man. Mr. Barology be the same dude who be listening to songs over and over and over and over and over and over again to make sure that he's able to uh, to call out every bar, every double, every triple before actually making a video and doing so. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can do that. That that is the easiest trick, you know, in the reaction game book. I'm just saying. Fake fans just using the stands and just scamming it in this is why I tell anybody who watch reaction channels, listen to the verbiage, listen to the language that some reactors be feeding you. How is it that this guy is able to catch every single bar? How is it that he's able to catch every single triple, double, whatever? He had to have heard this song before. You know what I'm saying? You could tell when certain reactors are actually listening to something for the first time. Because for one, if you're actually listening to something for the first time, you don't have to have that in your title. If you put in your title, I don't care who you are. If you put in your in the title of your reaction, listening for the first time, reacting to for the first time, odds are you're lying to yourself. It's not because it's not us, the audience, that you need to convince. It's yourself that you need to convince. I will tell you flat out. You you watch all of my reactions. I will tell you flat out if whether or not I've heard something before or if I've seen something before. You know what I'm saying? When I do a reaction or a video for a certain song, I will tell you. If it's a review or if it's a reaction. Bruh, let's go. Ripping them up, damn it, tonight. Look at them rambling. He ain't break one bar down, just laughing on camera and using barology. Nigga, stick to dancing and let the real ones react while you panda. You was never legit. You listen to MC Hammer. So who the fuck stamped them? Told him he got the answers. Stop trying to sway us with all of them weak antics. That punch gonna go over your head like the cap you wearing. And I was gonna. <laughs> facts uh, if, if it's a song that he's listened to like for the first time if he's actually listened to some songs for the first time in his reactions and yeah odds are there's gonna be some some punches some bars that are gonna go, to go over his head and just because that happens it doesn't mean like oh you you messed up or whatever no it means you actually heard something for the first time because look i don't care who you are you could tell when someone is listening to something for the first time because they're not going to catch every bar. They're not going to catch every double. They're not going to catch every triple. They're not going to catch every reference that's made in the song. Especially if it's your first time listening to it. You're not going to catch everything. I don't care who you are. So, miss me with the barology bullshit. Yeah, but now I'm done tearing like a white woman swearing. Hey, shit, I'm scared of. Shaq is a bitch afraid to get canceled. Scared of backlash for me. I love danger. You once asked me on the phone, why am I angry? It's cause niggas like you who got the power to change shit. But just fly away quick. Get up off that slave shit. I should and Grizzly's not wrong. This is why I was saying earlier, dude. You have the following, right? You have, you know, the ability to give back to those right who are smaller than you and help bring them up you know what they say about rising tide right rising tide raises all boats i'll give Shaq this much credit when it when it when it came to fucking over uh mercules and uh possibly fucking over grizzy at least he doesn't uh discriminate in that regard i'm just saying bruh bruh it's nice to know you're not afraid to fuck over those who are in the same community as you i'm just saying to be grateful for the promo i paid you you front like you about lyrics when you know that ain't true that shit flew over your head too whoa whoa wait 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 Jack. put the gun down man 
Look, I, I ain't gonna tell nobody you lying. I ain't gonna tell nobody that you stole from Saluminati. Look, look, nigga. Look, I apologize. I'll go public and tell them I'm sorry. You ain't steal nobody's shit. Nigga, please stop. No, nigga, no. Let's talk to him. Get me out of this trunk, nigga. Get me the fuck out of here! It ain't my fault, nigga! It ain't my fault! That is tough, man. Yo, this a whole medley of disses, man! Let's go! What's up, Slim? I react to your raps! Some call me Coach, others call me Shaq! I've been leeching off your name for years, I may stay! Oh yeah, I remember Shaq's so-called saying that. Hold up, Coach. I'm I'm sure he took that from somebody too. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I don't like that. Hope you right back. I might pass everything you write. Yes, I wish you was my dad. Sometimes I wonder why they say that I'm not black. And they think I'm just cooning for views. Why is that? And that's tough. I think I keep it a buck. I don't break balls down even though what's a punch. I just stand up, walk to my window and go nuts. I That's what it be like, man. I mean, you you can tell. I don't care what anyone says. Let let you let these no life shaft rider bots come at me and hit me with these with the same old broken record cliche comments. Man, you just a hater, man. Oh, you just a grizzly dick rider and all this and that. I already know what you're gonna say before you even, you even say it because I've seen this shit before. Shit ain't new to me, bruh, bruh. Let's go. About Chase, but he can't, that's not tough No like Shaq gang on my nuts I guess I'm up, it's your boy, it's your homie Ah, oh, shut the fuck up Listen, man, this is Grizz, a real fan of your shit Not some dude on YouTube Using your shit for clicks Well, I mean, I do it too, but at least I'm not him But you yes man all in your dick like you never miss When the truth is, ain't no one this sick with the pen Unless we mention it slip, God damn it, it never ends Whenever you drop, they gon' drop another bit Even if they know it's deep down trash to get them hit <laughs> Yo, it be like that, man. Cause tell me why, you know, Shaq was doing all these Eminem reactions. You know what I mean? That really helped blow him up. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> bruh, and and tell me this fool didn't wet himself when he actually got acknowledged by Eminem. And tell me that that wasn't, you know, the the uh, crucial point where Shaq changed. You know what I mean? Ever since he got that little rub from from the from the industry and everything, and hey, like I said, no 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 shame in that. All the more power to to Shaq, you know what I mean, for reaching the level of success that he's reached. But you cannot sit there and tell me that ever since he's got that rub from the industry, that he hasn't been a a totally different person. Come on now, come on now. Sooner or later, man, people's true colors do come out. And I, just the two of us, and well, well, just the two of us, that's tough. <laughs> I like that. That's tough. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, I ain't got to hear no more. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. This right here, this video, acting like you don't steal everything from that nigga so Illuminati. That's fake. Nigga, the Lil Pop situation. You used to love Lil Pop. He went at Eminem and all this stuff, and you know the Eminem fans didn't like Mo Rap, so you had to stop liking Lil Pump. You deleted the old videos of you liking Lil Pump. That's fake. Yo, he deleted some of his old videos, his old reactions? Wow, that's, 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 that, that, dude, that, that is fake as fuck. All right, y'all, so that was Grizzly Hendrix with the No Life Shack diss. Eminem stands must listen. <laughs> I'm definitely hooking that up what I like because I am with this 100%. Bruh. Bruh, let's see. I want to check out some of these comments, see what people are saying here. So someone said, I don't see how anybody is going to get mad at this. It's just facts. I mean, 
Yep, that, that that commenter ain't wrong. I hear no lies told here. You absolutely killed this one. See, shit hits hard, Grizz. Don't stop making that fire that fills the, the uh, furnace. That's the rap game. You know what's going to be really interesting is getting uh, Shaq's response to this. I can't wait to see if Shaq responds to this. I think if he ignores it, um, it, it's going to make him look bad to his audience. I don't care what anyone says. He He's going to look like a fool for not responding to it. But then if he does, he better be careful with how he responds to it because, you know, that's a very delicate situation there. But anyways, y'all, like I said, I'm with this 100%. Y'all are too. Y'all want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. You know what to do with that link for the original Vidya. That'll be in the description down below. And uh, like I said, man, if you think this is the first and only artist that No Life Shack has fucked over, uh, go hit up the, you know, Cloud9. Go hit up uh, Adam Calhoun. Go hit up Mercules. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say go hit up Upchurch, but Upchurch is taking a break right now, so let's, you know, let's leave, leave that dude alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm not going to tell any new up-and-coming artists what to do with their money. Just, 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 all I'm saying is be warned and know what you're getting yourself into when you try to hit up Shaq for a promo. Just be prepared. Be prepared. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, yeah. Anyways, y'all. Um, if you're with this reaction, uh, don't forget to like, comment, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're new here, if you're feeling the vibes, you know what I'm saying? It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget, of course, to check out all the links in the video description down below, including my store links. If you want to pick up uh, a piece of merch or two, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. You know what I mean? Help your boy eat. Keep the lights on and everything. So, yeah, that would be very, very much appreciated. No pressure. If you can, cool. If you cannot, totally understand. Remember, you can always subscribe. doesn't cost anything. Make sure you got your bell notifications on. That's also free as well. And uh, don't forget to check out, of course, all the channel links for all of my homies that I rock with here on this platform. That'll be greatly appreciated as well. Think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.